it's your girl Dolly Roman and I'm here with a haul I want to say like a Black Friday and Cyber Week haul because I did do some ordering on Black Friday um and then I went to the mall on Saturday which kind of was still considered Cyber Week because the stores were kind of having sales in the store and online which is weird but this is going to be broken down into like five categories. So I got shoes, I got some beauty stuff, I got jewelry, I got like uh, some stuff from Victoria's Secret, like some underwear and stuff, maybe like some body sprays and of clothes of course. So I'm not going to ramble too much, I'm going to jump right in. So the first thing that next to me, I did go to MAC, but there's not all MAC products in this bag. There's a couple different things, but I'm going to start off with the two things I got from MAC. So. The first thing I got from Mac, which is out the box because I just used it, I had to get another um, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in an NC42 because um, I tried that um, L'Oreal True Match Foundation and it broke my skin out. And every time I use the Mac um, Foundation, I could even go to sleep with the makeup on my face, which I know is not good, and I don't break out. I don't have any problems. So, like, now I have it on, and I have bumps right here, but I've been using the Clinic Clear Morning Burst at night, relaxing stuff. And um, I guess with the L'Oreal Foundation, it, my face was irritated, but now that I've been using the MAC for the past two days, it's been fine. So, the bumps are going away, which I'm happy about, because I don't usually get breakouts as much as I used to when I got this younger. So the next thing I got, which is a matte classic that every girl should have, I picked up a lippy, and it is the infamous Ruby Boo. It is a retro matte, and that's just what it looks like. And I'm gonna do a little quick swatch, cause I don't wanna do too much, cause I'm gonna wear this tomorrow actually. And that's just what it looks like. It's a perfect red. I mean, I have a red lipstick um, by Wet n Wild called. Um, red velvet which I wear all the time and I've been using the pinup um, LA girl glaze lip paint over and I love it so I think I'm gonna just wear this tomorrow and then do a little bit of the LA girl um, lip glaze on there because I do want the matte to show the most so here's just a couple other little beauty products I picked up that weren't matte I just decided to throw them in this bag because it was easier so my job has these palettes now I did try to look up um, more information on this palette, but this is by Profusion. I usually don't uh, buy Profusion makeup um, because I thought it was cheesy and cheap, but I just love this palette. It kind of reminds me of the Naked palette, and I spent $4.99 on this with my discount, which was is usually 30% off, but last week we had an extra 10% off, which was great. Um, and this is called the Bare Tin Shadow Eye Palette, and it just looks like that. It's this really cute cheetah print cover and then when you flip it on the inside it has a mirror which is really good because I want to start doing makeup tutorials and it has 10 different neutral like eyeshadows there's a pencil right here I guess for doing your um, waterline which I'm working on learning how to do better and there's a um, like a little sponge brush I just use that for my tear up sometimes because that's the easiest way for me to do it or my lower lash line um a next thing i picked up which is beauty um i went like i said I went to the mall on saturday with my grandma and then she wanted to go to Steinmart. i don't know if you guys have heard it it's like a, a store more geared towards older women but they did have like bessie johnson and michael kors and this one the one i went to down south i don't remember them having having like designer stuff they had steve man they had all type of stuff they had like makeup and jewelry so um I wanted to get one of these from Marshalls, but I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like $15, but I did pick this one up. And it's just an easel, um, like makeup mirror, so you can flip it. And this is the regular side, I believe, that shows you like the regular like um, distance. And this side is like five times, like zoomed in kind of. So I got this so that I can do like better makeup. And for my makeup tutorial and this was only ten dollars which I found a very good price at so <laughs> the next thing I picked up which I had to finish getting which I'll be able to finish my collection 
hopefully within the next couple of weeks. So, and I ordered my clothes from Go Jane. They had the macaroon lippies. As you guys know, I did get five or six already, but I didn't get a chance to finish the collection being that I was moving and everything. So, this was the one that I really wanted the most, and when they first came out, this one sold out before everything. So, this is just the um, NYX macaroon lippies. If you guys can see that. And this one is in lavender. And this is just what it looks like. It is really lavender, guys. I'm gonna do a swatch for you, oh my God. I cannot wait to wear this. Like, I wanted it so bad when I had my lavender hair for my birthday, but it was all sold out. So yeah, I only paid, I wanna say like $3 for this because Gochain was having a sale on Black Friday too on all their stuff. So I got that for a good price. So that's all the beauty things I got. So the next thing I'm going to jump into is the accessories I got. So the first accessory I got, um, I ordered from gojane.com. I don't remember exactly where it was. I did have the paper with the price. I don't know what I did with the little paper that has the prices on there. Um, so I can't tell you the prices. Cause I don't remember much of anything, but this um, clutch I got is basically a dupe to the American Apparel clutch that has the cities on it. So I just got this black clutch, and it says Montreal, Paris, London, New York, Berlin, Chicago, Seoul, Amsterdam, Mexico City, Tokyo, Vancouver, and Los Angeles. And yeah, the American Apparel clutch is pretty much just the same as it is. It's just made out of a canvas. And this one is made out of leather. I think it's made out of real leather because you can really smell the leather on here. I just got that. And the only reason why I've been buying clutches like crazy is because I don't have too many. And all the time, I don't want to carry a big purse or a crossbody purse because crossbodies are really my favorite. But sometimes I just don't be in the mood. So the next thing I got actually is this necklace that I have on. I picked this up from my job and it was originally $7.99. But like I said, last week our discount was 30% off plus an extra 10%. I'm not going to give y'all the exact prices. Y'all can do the math on that. But yeah, it's just like this chunky knit, chunky knit, chunky link chain. I'm always buying chain link necklaces. I don't know. But the reason why I got this one is because it reminds me of a rope chain. And you guys know I love like the 80s and the 90s. So I just had to get that. So the next thing I got, I got this from Charlotte Ruse. And I have another object in this <laughs> haul that's velvet. It's just funny. But I got this from Charlotte Ruse. It was $7.99. And it's just this velvet like headband. I can't really put it around my hair because it'll look funny. But it's one of those headbands that you use that they use in the winter that basically covers up your ears and stuff. And since I'm getting my hair done in a couple weeks, I thought this would be a cute accessory to have. So I probably use style this with like a cream or burgundy sweater and like my or my velvet um creepers that I have got from HM like for back to school. So the next thing I got is something else that I'm wearing. Um I have these earrings on, but they're a part of this set of earrings, and this is also for my job, and they were $5.99. And it's just a small size, a medium size, and like a larger size. And I got these because it's always good to have gold earrings. Plus, that's all I wear is gold jewelry. I don't, I rarely buy silver jewelry. I don't like it. I just, me and silver just don't get along. So, the next thing I got, um, I got these earrings from Forever 21. They were $4.90 and I forget exactly how much of a discount I got for these, but they were way cheaper than $4.90. And they're just these gem earrings. And I just got them because I, I thought they were going to be bigger than this. But this size is fine. I like them. Just like a little statement earring for when you want to just dress it up a little bit. And then I had got those earrings to go with this necklace for Christmas. And this necklace was $8.99 at my job. And that's just what it looks like. And then it already comes with earrings, but I figured those earrings would go a little better with it. And I just love this. I, like I said, I love uh, pieces like this that just instantly like glam up your outfit so that's why i got that 
And the last piece of jewelry I got were these earrings. They were $3.99. I also picked these up from my job. And that's just how they look. And they're like this pastel pink color with like this gold kind of coating over it. I can't, if you guys can see. And I got these because I have a fur coat that I'm about to show you guys that's this color. And pastels are going to be in for the winter. So I definitely got that to go with that. So moving on to like the lingerie kind of stuff. I did go to Victoria's Secret. If you guys are in the pink, um, have the Pink Nation app, you would have known that it was the painting party this weekend. So I got that. And I mean, if you guys don't want to see panties, whatever the case is, grow up. Um, whatever. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, I also did get something else, but I'll share that at the at the I showed the Victoria's Secret stuff. So yeah, like they had the painting party this weekend, which was seven pairs of um, pink panties or regular Victoria's Secret cotton panties for $27. And what I'm not liking is it's like every couple months they keep going on their prices because like a couple months ago it was seven for 26. Then it was seven for 26.50 and now it's seven for 27. And even the even the paintings are five for 27. So I mean, I mean you can't beat seven for 27, but come on, like five for 27, that's a bit much. But anywho, so before I even got, well this is after I picked up underwear, I had seen this when I was at the counter and I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. I need to get it. And it just, it's a mini gift set and it has these little fragrance mists in there and it has Pure Seduction, Amber Romance, and Love Spell, the three most used, um, most bought uh, fragrances from, um, from Victoria's Secret, so I just got these. Um, I have had Love Spell and Pure Seduction before. I don't remember ever trying Amber Romance, but I guess I'll try it now. Um, yeah, so like I said, I got the seven for 26 panties, and when I went, they didn't have too many good little patterns, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I got real quick. Um, I think these are boy shirts. I just got these like, um, I want to say like magenta, which is funny because I'm dyeing my hair magenta once and they say naughty on the side. And then I just got these hot pink tribal print boy shorts. I got another pair of boy shorts and they're just this cute like ditzy floral print, which I love. And oh, I got these ones because this is so funny. I think these are the cheeksters or something like that or the bikini. And it says on the back, it says, I woke up like this. I just thought that was so funny. Don't ask me why. And then I got these. I just like the color of these ones. I don't really know why I got those. And I got another pair of boy shorts and they were just play like this. Or these might be another, I don't really know what style. I just be picking them up because I like the colors and I think they're cute. And I just got a pink pair of cheetah um, ones with black lace around. There. So yeah, I like their panties. They're very comfortable. And another thing I picked up yesterday, I had went to a flea market with my grandma. And of course they didn't have anything. So I happened to run across some bras and I picked those up and they were basically five for $15. And the reason why I got the bras at the flea market is a good way to build your bra collection. And these, I have one on now. It's like they're supposed to be push-up bras and I really like these bras. Which is shocking because I really don't like the bras with the wires in there. Which is weird. But anywho, so I just got this. I have a black one on now, so you're not going to see that. But like I said, it was five for $15. Or maybe it was six for 15 Yeah, it must have been six for 15 So, um, it's just the blue one in here, like a cobalt blue. And they have a, a hot pink kind of color this like corally orange color um a nude of course and they have the white package so the white one doesn't get dirty and i thought that was good because you know 
You get your color ones and then you get your basic ones that you need the most. So I thought that was good. And six for $15, you can't really beat that price, you know? So I, that's what I got as far as lingerie wise. The next thing I got was two pairs of shoes. One pair of shoes is from Forever 21 and one is from MakeMeChic.com. So the first pair I got is from MakeMeChic.com. These shoes I wanted so bad, they kept selling out and I was getting so upset cause I was like, this is not right. Like, Jesus, are you trying to tell me that I'm not supposed to have these shoes? Like I was so confused about why they kept selling out. So the crazy thing about it, they came back and stock like on heyday. And I was like, yeah, I'm order. I don't care. I'm ordering them things today. So these are basically a dupe to the Jeffrey Campbell HBIC booties. Um, they're an exact dupe. They look exactly like them, which is crazy. But I don't get the um, if the HBIC basically is a platform that looks like a Timberland boot. A uh, Timberland boot. It's really cute. But they don't, I don't believe they have like all black, the all black Timberland ones. They just have the regular Timberland looking ones. So, Go Jane uh, actually had them. And this is by the brand um, Bumper. I think I have a pair of shoes by them already, but I'm not too sure. But this is just what they look like. And oh my God, I just love these. Like, they have that low sole type of look. They have like that new book kind of thing like the Tim Tab and they have like this awesome chunky heel and just black laces and I just love these and I can't wait to wear but yeah I just got these their style name is Rocker 10 the material is PU the color is black too and this is a size eight and a half for you guys to see and like I said I also got a second pair from Forever 21 the crazy thing about these ones is that I actually was gonna buy these when I went to New York with my mom um, to go shopping for school, I was gonna get these from H&M and then I was gonna order them from dailylook.com. Um, they were China uh, China laundry shoes and I think they were called the Campus Green or something like that, but they kept selling out. So when Forever 21 got them, I was just like, you know, I had to order these and I don't care what anybody thinks. So they're just, these booties, they're they're very popular right now. They kind of look like a sneaker, like a high top sneaker with a heel. But the reason why I got these is I feel like they're very edgy and that you could wear these on a day-to-day -day basis without your feet hurting too much. Like I could actually wear these to school and not be okay. I have those days where I really just be wanting to wear heels and I'm not gonna do it unless it's my birthday because there's no reason to get that dressed up for school. At least, at least in my mind, that's that's what I think. So yeah, I just got these. Like I said, probably, I don't remember off the top of my head how much they would cost, but I will put that in all in the, um, the description box. Yeah, so this is says the item code is 00129969. The color is black. It's in a size 9. And I love it because it came in a pretty hot pink box. And I ordered a size up because when I was reading the reviews on the boots, it was saying uh, go a size up instead of a size your regular size because they fit a little tight. So I got that. Okay. And last thing for like um, accessories or whatever, and I got three pairs of socks from Forever 21. I believe these were like 580, but they had that big discount. So I got these to go with the booties because I thought they would look cute with crew socks. So I got a black pair, a charcoal gray pair, and a heather gray pair, just just because I thought they would go cute. So last but not least, I finally get to show you guys all the clothes I got. Um, this stuff is basically from all over the place and I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, there's, uh, most of this stuff I'm really happy I got and I'm excited to share with you guys. So, the first thing I got, I'm so happy about, um, I got this velvet midi skirt. It's burgundy and I have a cobalt blue like skater skirt, but it is too short. Um, I ordered it off of eBay and it came from China. This one is by the brand, um, oh, by the brand K2, K-T-O-O-U-S-A. And this is in a size large. 
and this is still up there actually because a lot of people weren't even buying this so they have a black one this color and a green one so I got that um, next thing I picked up was from Charlotte Russe which I went to now that skirt I ordered on Black Friday this I picked up this past Saturday when I went to the mall um, and it's just this um, kind of like I don't want to say crochet but it's like a sheer shirt with these designs on there um, and it has like these scalloped edges and let me just give you a close of designs it's like uh like an ivory and a gold uh stitching and i got this to go to with this skirt because i want to wear this on christmas and i tried it on and even though it's a large the shirt kind of fits a little tight but i'm just going to wear it on one day so it's not that big of a deal for me i wanted more of a dressy your look to go with this skirt because i felt like it was more of a dressy type of look um, I forget how much that was, so like I said, it'll be in the description box. Um, the next thing I got, I also got from Charlotte Rose. When I seen this, I kind of went crazy. It reminds me of those um, Chanel sneakers that came out uh, maybe last year that had like the roses, the 3D roses on them, so I had to get it. And it's just this sweatshirt. It says New York 93. Yeah, New York 93. Um... It would have even been better if it said New York 94 because I was born in 1994. But why I say it reminds me of the Chanel sneakers is because if you guys see up close, it has this rose imprint on there. And I just think that is so cool and cute. And I just love this sweatshirt. Oh, the tag is on here. Oh, this was $26.99. And this shirt was $22.99. Pace and pace when you look at the prices. So these, um, they said they're jeggings, but they're jeans. So I had a pair of jeans that for, I ordered from Go Jane years, like two or three years ago. They're my favorite jeans. I wore them as much as I could. And then last year they ripped. And then when I went to go buy the same jeans again on Go Jane, they were sold out. So I was so mad. So I just tried to get a, a pair of jeans that I could wear every day. Um, not every day, but a basic pair of jeans that would go anything. And I could basically kind of get it off when we're to my job because we're not supposed to wear jeans. But they say these are jeggings. But um, it's just this pair of jeans. They do kind of feel like jeggings, though, to, to be honest. Um, they're like a kind of like, I don't want to say turquoise because these are, they kind of look turquoise to me. But they're like this blue color and it has like this chestnut stitching I got them in a size 11 because the 13 and the 15 sold out but this size fits perfectly fine which I knew and it just has two back pockets it don't have no pockets on the front and that's just how it looks and they fit they run really long on me so I'm going to have to uh, like cuff them at the bottom so yeah that's that um, another thing I picked up from Forever 21, which I did order off the website on Black Friday, um, is this tartan like boxy kind of shirt. Now I was going to order a shirt from Go Jane that was basically the same as this, but all of this was like a gray, heather gray, like sweatpants material. And then the sleeves were just tartan. And I really liked that shirt, but it had sold out before I could um, get it. And I kind of like this one better because that shirt was like 20 something dollars. And this one I got for $9.99. Well, $9.90, you know, how forever 21 do, and that's just an up close on the target. So, the next two things I'm going to share with you guys are the two things that I'm super, super excited about. And then I have to tell you guys about this sweater because this is the sweater I did actually get over the weekend. But the next two things are my favorite two things. I'm so happy I had a chance to get them. So, everybody knows I'm like, a, I am a girly girl. Um, I do have my edgy like days but at heart I'm a true girly girl my favorite color is pink and that's that so what is a girly girl without having a tutu like all my life I, that's all I wanted was a tutu and I've been trying to find like an affordable one first I was gonna order one off of make me chic those sold out and then this one has sold out too from go J and then it restocked and nobody was buying it so I looked up and I was able to get this baby. Oh my God, I'm just too in love. And it's just this black mesh, like tulle tutu skirt. 
oh my god it's so the so so pretty it has a black skirt underneath if you guys can see and the reason i don't even know like i'm just so happy i got it i don't even know how to wear it anymore um i might save it for my birthday or i might save it like for one of my little grungy outfits with my doc martens i want to wear it like casually and dressy so i got this tool skirt and um I just love it I just oh I just love it so oh before I get to show you the last last thing this I got it just picked up this uh, t-shirt from forever 21 it was $14.90 and it says grunge chic which I just was talking about grunge right how ironically and um, I just got this just to have a basic um, black and white t-shirt cuz I always buy white and black t-shirts with the little sayings like this like white and black you know just because it's easier to style and things like that and i do have a couple shirts i need to be ordering from etsy soon so you guys might see that in another haul so like i was saying this cardigan i got over the weekend from charlotte bruce is and um this cardigan reminds me of the cardigans that are hella expensive at american apparel and it's a, basically a cocoon cardigan um it's I don't know like the sleeves are like this and it's just long and has like this back I don't know how to really explain it but it's so comfortable and the reason why I got it is because now that I'm going into winter break I'm gonna have to work more and then like most of the time I don't be feeling like getting dressed for work either I just be throwing stuff on cold as this so I pay um $26.99 for that one. Yeah. And the last thing I got, I'm so excited to share with you guys. Oh my God. Like, when I seen this coat, I lost my mind. You guys don't understand. Like I told y'all, my favorite color is pink. So when I see pink things, I just go crazy. So, I've been wearing a faux fur coat forever now. First, I was just gonna settle for a pink vest like this, but when I seen this coat, my whole my whole life changed. So, without further ado, I got this baby from not Go Jane, Make Me Chic. I got this coat from MakeMeChic.com. It's by the brand Hot and Delicious. And the crazy thing about it is, when I went to the mall over the weekend, Urban Outfitters had the same exact coat in black. But yeah, like. Oh my god just a winter a full fur coat is like the perfect accessory for winter like how can you not and it's so soft and so pretty guys like oh, I just want to wear it to sleep every night I really do I'm just and I this coat actually it was on sale first it was $50 and then go J I'm go J make me chic was having some type of sale where I got it for like $47 or something like that I do remember that price for sure so that's just how it looks like it's not all long let me show you guys actually how it looks on but yeah like this is my favorite piece of the whole entire haul like when I got this coat I almost cried everybody looked at me like I was a fool in this house but yeah that's just how it looks on oh and it's so like I said it's so soft like you wouldn't even be able I mean you know it's faux fur because it don't got that same resemblance of real fur but I just love this coat so anyway guys that is my Black Friday slash Cyber Week haul um I hope you guys enjoyed this video is pretty long so um I hope you guys had some good snacks during it yeah I'm sorry that it was so long but I could not even wear any of this stuff without showing you guys what I got first I try to do that everything so like I said I'm going on winter break this week so i'll have more videos coming i have a couple diys coming um i am gonna do a get ready with me for christmas um video that is for sure um i should have a um video coming up of an unboxing for hair because i am ordering some hair this week i'll give you guys more details on that when it comes um uh, also like I told you guys when I did the video on this hair originally, which I 
still hate. Um, I was going to show you guys how I dye and bleach my bundles. So that video will be coming up with the hair that I'm currently ordering. So you guys stay tuned for that. And as always, comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.